Hey guys, so for this video, I'll be talking about Nine Muses, my collection for them. This is like a haul and a little chit chat video if you want to watch it and listen to me ramble and talk about Nine Muses. Stick around or if you don't know Nine Muses, uh, maybe this can be a good little uh, <laughs> video to learn a little bit about them. Maybe you can check them out. Uh, these are the three albums that I was missing from them. Uh, I don't know if I discuss this these albums on my collection plans plan videos um i probably did mention them on my nine muses collection video because these were on the top of my list but the issue with these albums is that they were released uh, a while ago um and they're out of print and <laughs> I was actually around during their debut, since they debuted, so I was supporting United Muses early on, but actually not even early on, but I'll touch a little bit on that. Um, but I did uh, keep up with them since their Sweet Rendezvous era, like I was a hardcore fan after this. Um, but yes, I always postponed getting these uh, their albums for some odd reason, I don't even know why, because... I actually, these, for Nine Muses releases, I have never been disappointed. Um, the album, uh, the B-sides are really good. The production value is, like, it's just well thought out. Um, they don't have filler tracks. Um, I like, I don't know, it's like, I don't know how else to describe it. I love their music. <laughs> so, I feel really stupid and... I learned my lesson with this um, because I got these albums for a pretty, I would say along their brand new prices. Um, so I got lucky, um, but they go around for like $35 and on up. And I think that's really pricey. But then again, for those people who are selling it, like these are really rare. So <laughs> I understand, but for those fans who like, are on a budget and maybe did not get into Nine Muses uh, or just get into Nine Muses, it's just hard um, because it's really expensive. Um, the hardest thing to get for Nine Muses is their first album, um, the first single, which is, uh, what is it called? The one with no Playboy. I am, um, I think it's called Let's Have a Party. I have that one. Luckily, so I have a complete collection for Nine Muses, so I will make a uh, an updated collection video for them. Uh, I think I'll wait a little bit near the end of the year because I hope that they have a comeback as a group this year, but you never know. Uh, so, yeah, but I am happy. This is one of my goals that I had for a really long time, um, so I didn't mind spending a little bit or more than I usually do on albums for these. Um, but I'm finally, like, I'm just, I feel so happy that I finally have these. Because I, I always looked at uh, people putting, like, listings on just a bunch of websites. And they usually go for really high. Um, and I'm not going to spend, like, $60 in, on one album. Like, it's just not, that's, I'm not going to spend that much. Especially if it's, like, an album that I know is, like, worth less. The only time I've ever paid, I think almost sixty, I pay like fifty or sixty dollars for a limited edition solo album for Changmin and Yunho. So I spent like a hundred bucks uh, on those two albums, but that's the only time I've ever really spent that much. And that's uh, that release was not really uh, a release for the main public. It was just for their Japanese fandom so it's it was exclusive um but these were like like 15 20 dollars like on the average price like the regular price that it was sold when it first came out so I I was really disappointed to see that I was really just lazy and not I didn't get them so finally learned my lesson um the packaging is pretty solid um the one with the coolest packaging is definitely this one. If it has a concept, um, if you don't know, for this era they had um, a title track uh, ticket, um, and this has like a boarding pass kind of thing, and each member has their own ticket. I love this, and 
hands down one of the best k-pop mini albums of all time uh every song blends well together there's not a filler track in here um there, f there's there's videos for one two three song for three of the four songs in here uh so yes it's just flawless like this has no competition when it comes to just mini albums like this is just fantastic um it's in korea slept on it <laughs> um and news is one of the is i i have a okay so news kind of just talking about my favorite title tracks for for nine music news and um wild um are like neck and neck for me for best title tracks um, one thing I would definitely, that makes me really upset is that I don't have their song Glue, um, because that was a release of the digital single and I am so upset because I know there's people who have the promo versions, but it's extremely difficult to find, almost impossible because they have like very few, I think, I think just probably like a hundred copies of that. Um, and I'm not going to spend a hundred dollars on a CD with one song, so that's never going to happen. It's like a promo. So it's not like an actual physical release. Um, and that's the only thing that upsets me with their discography. That that song is not on a physical album. I hope that they do like a greatest hits type of thing. Like Cheguge Idol or Jia. Which was also under Star Empire. They had something like that. So I hope that maybe they do it for Naimises. Um, include that song. Um. And make it like an all greatest hits album. So um, maybe some of the fans who want like the title tracks in these can and a physical copy, then they can have it. I think that would be like a good idea. Maybe for like an anniversary type of thing. Just throwing it out there. Um, but yes, uh, long story short, waited a long time to get these. Uh, and it was a really wrong idea. So um my biggest tip, if you stand a group that's under a small company, buy the albums within a year because um, it's very likely that the albums would go out of print uh, because they don't make that many copies for them. So that's the case for Nine Muses. I finally have a complete collection. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please comment down below. Um, I did order some newer albums. Uh, so... I'll be unboxing those once they arrive, but I wanted to make a video specifically specifically for Nine Music since um, this was one of the things I really wanted to have, and I didn't expect to have it. I think it would have taken me like two more years, but I, I got all of these three albums at the same time. So, um, yeah. I... Other than that, I'm just, like, really looking forward to the Girls, Girls' Generation subunit. Like, that's, like, the thing uh, that's keeping me on the edge because I want to hear what they have to, like, uh, what, what they're recording and all of that. So, really looking forward to that. And um, kind of, for those who are curious for upcoming unboxing videos, I have uh, Vix's new album this year. I got I finally got um, Vix's uh, Hyde album or, no, Jekyll. I got their Jekyll album. I got Don Bang Shin Ki's uh, studio album this year. Um, and I ordered Infinite's Top Seed, which I waited because um, I thought they were going to release a repack, but it doesn't seem like they are. And what other album did I order? Oh, yeah. XOCBX's second mini. Um, and what other album did I get? Mm, another album that I forgot so thank you guys for watching um, look forward to those videos I'll include these on a separate haul um, just kind of see for to see to show the things that I got for August um, and yeah bye guys